maybe yep make it three layers for the top layer you change the blending options to linear dodge so it looks a bit white and for the below layer you go to filter bl blur and go to motion blur and blur it yeah, something like this okay then here you should get this um, for yeah <laughs> then you erase this part off this part um, all the, the layers Okay, now you get this if slur glowing effect here. So after this, we are gonna add some energy lines at the side. <coughs> to do this, you're gonna hit brushes. Go to your assorted brushes. Click OK. Um, no. Then choose this. The uh, yeah this crosshatch tree make it go to be 75 and you choose a pale blue like this Click okay <coughs> then you put some hatches here something like this you go to filter blur um, you go to radial blur no I mean you could filter um, discharge and wave okay then um, um, sorry for this decline then default settings should be okay then yeah you just change it to linear light <laughs> no nope, um, linear dodge then you go to your eraser tool erase the parts that it's shining on the girl and you know some extra parts you erase it wouldn't want this long thing here and yep. So after that you might want something to glow around the girl. Make a new layer below the girl and go to your brush tool. Choose this yep wavy brush. Go to a brightening yellow. Yep, something like this, you see. So then, you um, draw some stars ar at the side of the girl, like this, see? Then you change it to linear dodge. <coughs> now you go to blending up, you see? Uh, there's a shiny thing here now go to blending options just click ok so because it's sorry for the lightness now um, go to outer glow <coughs> then it, it should be yep say here so should be yellow and the size yep should be 10 here it's glowing more click ok 
here you are having a cool looking aura signature um, so after you are done with everything uh, you go to one layer below this um, everything here yep, below this shiny thing you just added here then you go to your um, pencil tool change its opacity to 80 uh, size somewhere uh, maybe yep, somewhere 24 so um, you ho click here whole shift and you paint this whole thing oh sorry it, it should be black so um, here whole shift and you paint this black it's too thick so um let me see this should be out a bit yep, somewhere here then Um, after you're done with everything, you just add your own your name. Just a text that looks kind of good with this. Goes good. <coughs> just add it somewhere here. Well, initializing type tool because there's too many layers here. Um, just wait. You see, it's in my opinion this is kind of cool you know all these effects so we just wait for this text to okay so just enter your text I'm gonna use this gelat because it's what I usually use in my game here um, color yeah just mess around with all this text and you know I hope you learned something here and this is my first tutorial I hope it's not that bad you know quality everything yeah I hope you understand what I'm saying uh, anyway so just go to blending options just blending options um, then go to outer glow outer glow and you're gonna need white not yellow because it's um, not that good here. Um, okay. Size to 10 pixels. And not screen because screen you see it's like too over. We're gonna use overlay here. It's like something overlay here. So now inner glow we are gonna use a black because it can't be w yellow or something you see. I'm gonna use black okay so it's all stabilized there and yep hit okay so here you go this cool Siggy here um, and thanks for watching um, goodbye uh, to be you